Well guys, we got the Woodlander trailer for my sawmill built right here. This thing is going to be pulled out of there not too long from now, but I got to get the sawmill built first and foremost. That's the name of the game today. So there's the sawmill. This is the HM130 Max. I'm going to take some of these parts here. We're going to put them on that thing. Once it gets built, then I'll use the tractor hopefully to lift it up and we'll pull the trailer out and put the sawmill on the trailer and then go from there. So that's what we're up against. Beautiful afternoon. Here we go.
These L-shaped brackets you see on the ground here, I'm installing them as per the instructions in the Woodlander trailer manual. Now these get installed in order to hold the saw head down to the trailer, but they're obviously not necessary unless you have that trailer. All right guys, well, it's a great day out here because I think we are ready to bring that trailer out of the sawmill shack. We'll put it right about here. I set up some ramps. I'm just gonna, just gonna move it by hand. The tongue weight's not very heavy. Uh, if I get to a point where it seems too heavy, I'll just stop, I'll get the tractor and pull it out. The trouble is with the tractor, you guys can see on the front there, the bucket, there's a lot of blind spots. And so if I start moving things with the tractor, the tractor won't tell me it's bumping into stuff with the trailer and I don't want to damage it. So I'm gonna move it by hand right down the ramps, hopefully to this area. Once we get it here, then I'll probably pull it out that way with the tractor. And then I'm gonna come in, pick up the sawmill, and then obviously the sawmill has to go on the trailer. So wish me luck, it's a great day. Everything is assembled, there's no more parts here on the ground. And so this is a beautiful thing, here we go.
Well guys, there we have it. The HM130 Max is successfully on the trailer and I hate doing stuff like that, holding weight up high over something that I'm really looking forward to using like the trailer, but it worked out well. We got the trailer and the sawmill in position where they're going to stay. Now there's a few more things I have to do in order to button this up to the point where we can cut wood, but that's going to be for next time. You're going to notice there's no log stops, there's no log clamps. I also need to do things like tension the throttle cable, tension this cable, add some lubrication, add some oil, add some fuel. Uh, I don't have a battery in there. It's going to be used as an electric start. Uh, so I don't have that. You'll also notice I have a fender over there, but I don't here. And the reason I uh, don't have a fender over here is because I still need to secure these. These are little brackets that come down so that they look like this so that I can drill a hole through there into the trailer on both sides so that when I'm going down the road, that sawmill can have pins that hold it to the trailer. Still got to do some small things like that, but I'm going to hold off because what I want to do, I want to make sure that the trailer is perfectly flat still from side to side before I drill those holes. Uh, that way I know they're in the perfect position. So we'll be doing that next time, but I got to tell you, this was really fun. I enjoyed it. I'm not a professional mechanic by any means. Uh, I just turn wrenches on things that I own, you know, work, uh, work on various projects. I think this is something that most people could do. It doesn't, uh, doesn't take a lot of, uh, a lot of um, extra knowledge. It was all in the owner's manual. It was quite, uh, quite specific. It had great pictures. And so overall, I'd say this is completely doable. Um, I enjoyed it, as I mentioned, and I think if I had to do this again, I would do it again because uh, I didn't hit any hiccups, and that's pretty good. If you guys have ever worked on things before, assembled things before, oftentimes you have a little hiccup. There's hardware missing. The holes are misaligned, uh, things of that nature. This thing went smoothly. I don't have anything to report, and so that's a good thing. I'm going to look forward to putting this thing into action real soon, and hopefully you guys will join me for that. So make sure you come back. We'll uh, get this thing buttoned up tight. But in the meantime, have a look. That's going to change the game for me. Now I can go out on the road. Don't know where I'm going to go, but maybe I'll visit some friends and family and cut some lumber for them. But that's also going to allow me to move around here quite easily and uh, just sort of uh, up, my, up my game a little bit. The old HM130 in there is cut an awful lot of wood. It's probably thankful it's going to have a partner here to take some of the uh, pressure off it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this video helped you. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe. Check out my next video. I'll see all you guys next time.